The next time you see me is a novel about a cast of characters and the ways in which they're connected by a woman's disappearance in a small town in Kentucky. Um, and so I get into multiple characters' perspectives and explore um, this incident through uh, various angles. It's natural for me to be drawn to writing about small town life because I've lived the majority of my life in small towns. The next time you see me, which is in its earliest incarnation, very loosely inspired by a crime that took place in the small town where I'm from when I was a girl. What I was able to see from that incident was the ways in which in a small town um, a tragedy reverberates on a different level than a single death probably would not in a larger area. I chose to set the novel in the 90s for a few different reasons. I saw the touchstone of the story being Emily um, and her experience of what was happening, partly because I was around Emily's age when this woman's body in my, my own small town was discovered, and so I was kind of uh, processing what that would have been like for her. I also felt that to write about the disappearance of a woman um, in today's context means something entirely different. I, I didn't want there to be this sort of instant access to information about the disappearance. I wanted it to be uh, a little bit more cloaked, a little bit more mysterious. I wanted it to be kind of claustrophobic within the small town. My favorite character to write was probably Tony Joyce, who is the failed baseball star, just because he's someone who um, whose experience in life is so different, uh, you know, completely different from my own. Uh, Tony is uh, a black man who basically learns to experience the world and find acceptance through pursuing his dream of being a major league baseball player. And when that dream falls through, he ends up kind of coming back to this small town of Roma, um, not exactly with his tail between his legs, but certainly with um, a different view of what it means to have strength and to have power. It was tricky to write characters like Wyatt and Emily, who are on the one hand, I think, quite sympathetic, um, and that um, they're, they're sort of the losers of the story. Uh, they're the characters who uh, endure uh, both of them teasing uh, Wyatt at the hands of people he works with, Emily, uh, from people that she goes to school with. And yet, the flip side of both of those characters is that they have these true sources of darkness within them. It, it was challenging to get both halves of each of those personalities on the page and to make the reader want to invest in the characters and not to be repulsed by them. But that, that's something I really love doing as a writer. I like taking up the cause of characters who are not evidently the good guys.